Hello beautiful people, I am Matilda, welcome back to my channel where we discuss business, ideas and everything in between. I am so glad you tuned in and for my subscribers, thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me. So as you saw in the thumbnail, I had something really different. I had a traditional basket or tray, we call it a lupe. So I just wanted to dramatize it because today we are discussing village banking and this is a two-part video. So we're going to talk about why you need to join a village banking and in the second part of this video, we will, not this video, in the second other video, we will talk about how to start a village banking group. So before we get into why you need to join a village banking group, we need to understand what village banking is. Now, village banking is basically banking without a formal financial institution involved. So what happens is you have a community of people that come together, most likely friends, relatives or colleagues that come together, start um, a village banking group where they allow themselves a place to save their money and also a place that gives them access to credit cheaply, without collateral and very quickly. So that is basically what village banking is. Now this concept was started by Mohammed Yanis from Bangladesh, a developing country, which means that it would work fantastically or it would work well in a country like Zambia because we are also a developing country. Now, Mohamed Yanis is a professor in economics who won a Nobel Peace Prize for this same project. It proved to be very successful and it's been thriving ever since. He is a co-founder of a bank, the Grayman Bank, which also implements this type of model. That there are a number of banks in Zambia right now that um, I don't want to mention names but they have taken that concept the village banking model and tweaked it a bit to suit their situation and also um, it's not so clear to see but if you see if you know what village banking is you can point out and be like okay so that bank uses it this bank uses it I don't want to mention names in case you know but there are a number of banks that are using it and they're thriving, they're performing very, very well. So on the benefit side for um, banks that do it, they really help out small entrepreneurs um, develop their business and also make headway in their personal lives. And also if you're going to do it at community level without a financial institution involved, it is also very empowering. So one of the reasons you may consider joining a village banking group is that it provides financial services without the presence of a financial institution. There are two main activities we follow with a financial institution. One is to um, someone to take our savings and the second one is access to credit. So with a village banking group, you are able to do these two activities without the presence of a bank. So for example, a number of people come together, let's say 10 people come together and um, start up a village banking group. From those 10 people, some are more savers and others need money to um, invest in their business. So what happens is with the village banking group, the people that want to save can save their money and those that need to borrow can borrow their money at a low interest rate. So that's one reason you may consider because it is it gives you access to loans and also it allows you to save your money with a community. Now, the second reason you may need to consider joining a village banking group is that you do not need collateral for the loans that you're going to get. So I know a number of people are uncomfortable with this one. However, remember village banking groups are based on trust. It's usually a circle of friends, relatives or colleagues. So it's people you trust and you trust them knowing that they wouldn't deliberately um, run away with your money or default on a payment because they want to. They will make all the effort required to make sure that that money is returned, including the interest that has been assigned to it. Now, that's where it gets tricky. Some groups are very particular and have strong rules on um, requiring collateral for certain amounts of money and all these things. I would advise that for each group that you're considering to join, read the guidelines and also look at the people that are in the group, if they're people you trust and know before you sign up and join the group. Otherwise, village banking groups do not need collateral to access a loan. The reason to consider joining a village banking group is that it gives you a place to save your money and your savings grow at a higher rate than most banks would give you. Now, the last time I checked, 
the banks were not giving as high as about 30 40 percent of course this you have to really investigate on your own because banks have a lot of services and products that they offer however for me based on my experience i think that village banking helps me get a higher return on my savings and also it's some it's an activity i like doing with my friends my colleagues my relatives because it's a social activity which brings me to my other reason you may need to consider joining a village banking group this activity allows you to strengthen your social network by this you have a place where you can socialize with your friends your relatives or colleagues and at the same time discuss important things like money and how you're going to grow your money improve yourself and all those things whenever people discuss money and get real about their financial situation the, so the friendships and relationships are stronger because then it's authentic that's just my experience on that one. But I think that your social network really does improve and get strengthened. If you do not have, um, if you do not have a social network, friends, relatives, or colleagues, you can practice a village banking group with. I suggest you widen your network because there's no better way than to grow as as a family, grow with your friends and in such an activity. So that's one reason I think you should join the village banking group. Another reason I think village banking groups are really beneficial is that they easily evolve from village banking groups only into investment groups. I mean, people will record um, experiences of having more money and less demand where nobody wants to borrow from the village banking group. They have no need for the money. So such groups have actually gone on to buy um, properties to invest in businesses and also to improve their livelihood so this has been one of the beneficial reasons of village banking groups i'm so excited to see how our village banking group will evolve into an investment group because it's also really really encouraging for me to know that when i'm succeeding i'm growing with my friends my family and my colleagues so i would encourage you to join the village banking group today and just explore the benefits and tell me your experiences if you're already in a village banking group so you guys Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Share the video as well. And if you have any other experiences or anything you'd like to add on to the video, please comment in the section below. Please stay tuned for the second video. That will be a part two that will be discussing how to start a village banking group. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.